only offense I committed was to train my daughter abroad. Please, my husband, take it easy. Just calm down. She's getting on my nerves. I can't take this any longer. She's an only child and she's behaving this way. If I had them too like this, probably by now I would have died of a heart attack. You had better caution your daughter. Caution her. Even the members of my cabinet, they are making negative assertions and remarks about her. Caution your daughter. About what is good about this afternoon? So you've gotten so wayward to the extent of having unprotected sex at the same time terminating the pregnancy. Mother, did you, 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 you went to my room? Stupid. Mother, do you realize that encroaching on my privacy is an offense punishable by law? You stupid. Are you mad? Have you gone gaga? Are you mad? Idiot fool! Stupid! Abortion is a bigger offense. Equivalent to first degree murder. Which you know can send you to jail. Murderer. Stupid. Fool! Idiot! Are you going to get me arrested? Mother? I'm so disappointed at you. This time, you failed. Woefully, you failed. Who is the father of that girl? Which girl are you talking about? Princess Abba is not from my loins and couldn't have come from my lineage. Your Majesty. What are you talking about? You broke my virginity. You're the first and only man I've ever known all my life. What are you talking about? Then who went in there after me? No one. It has been you and you alone. I've ever remained faithful to you until this moment. What are you talking about? Talk to your daughter. I repeat, one, your daughter. Talk to your daughter.
I tried to be lenient with you. But you took my kindness for granted. You attempted and succeeded in pregnancy termination under my roof. Father, I'm sorry. Shut up! And take my warning seriously. Or I will show you that I'm still your father, King Augustus VI of Umwebuke Kingdom. Listen to me. You are no more expected to get out of this house once it is 5 p.m. I give you privileges on a platter. And you abuse them all. So I am taking them back. No more financial allowances for you. Father! Father, you cannot be this crude to me, please. Prepare your business proposals on pain and paper. Only then will I know that you are ready to embrace enterprise. And most importantly, present to me the man that is going to marry you. You have just Two months to do all that. Just two months. Else, I will change the content of my will and will everything to the motherless babies. I have spoken. Father, please, I, I promise I will be a good girlfriend today. You have just two months. I want to result my process. Just two months. going to do now? How am I going to make a life with all this small money I get from dry cleaning? How am I going to take care of my wife? I don't even know why I got married too early. I can't trace my setback to anything. This picture is the only thing now that gives me peace. I wish I can give life into this picture. How am I going to get a man for the king? Oh God, all those boys I have had something with, I do not love them. I really need to do something about it. I 
can't afford to get broke or lose my father's blessing and inheritances to anybody. Hey girl, just think. Think fast. Thank you, my dear. How are my siblings? Everybody's fine. I'm fine, as you can see. Hey. <laughs> Let's go inside. What of your husband? He went out. Let's go inside. Okay, see. <laughs> see the oh. other side. Hello. I'm going to kiss you. I'm going to kiss you, my dear. How dare you barge in like that? Wait a minute. Were you following me? Were you? No, not really. I came to drop these clothes. Someone brought it to my shop yesterday and dropped her address too. So I, I came to drop the clothes oh, back. Oh, that, that should be, Mrs. Harbour. Can I have it? Okay. That still gives you no reason to follow me around. Do you understand? You can now leave. I said get out! It's okay. Babes, that was so harsh. You know that that handsome dude does not deserve the kind of insults just gave to him. Oh, he's a pig. Hmm. And I love pop men. Whatever. <laughs> he's so cute. insult. Could she have insulted me like this if I have money? Lack of money has humiliated me. I must make this money. Just look at a spot brat treat me with so much insignificance. God, it's your fault. You gave me wisdom and intelligence. But no money to support and bring my idea to reality. No, Camilla. No! That wasn't right. The way you spoke to that guy is so wrong. And I don't like it. Oh, please! It is none of your business. I cannot allow such a low life to be stalking me. Oh! No way! Oh! Stalking you! 
I don't get it. Why are you being so mischievous? Oh, please. Do not tell me how to live my life. Nor how to handle these toys that come around me. Excuse me. <laughs> toys. Really? Okay. Take a light sound of that. <laughs> Boy. Well. <laughs> You never mentioned to me that your husband is an artist. <laughs> but he's not. Oh, he's not. How come he has a particular drawing of a lady scattered in his house? Well, it's, it's nothing. Zika Ramon, you better wake up. Wake up from this your slumber. They take a long time and a new for you off. How do you explain that your husband is not cheating on you with a strange woman? Nigodanya, Nigodanya, can't just take a very good look at it. Can't you see that there's a certain rich girl somewhere trying to take over your marriage? Yeah. You're taking this too far. Oh. I know my husband. Oh. He cannot do that to me. He loves me so much. These drawings are just uh, an imaginary artifact. Imagine. Listen to me very carefully. If you do not take time to monitor your husband, he will send you back. And you will lose everything that you have worked for. Do not bring shame upon yourself and upon this family. I can't believe that you changed overnight Baby, why are you doing this to me? You promise our love will last all Where is the love you promised me? I have tried my best to be the best for you Tell me, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? You tore my heart into pieces Hey, the laundry man was here. He brought your clothes. That's nice. Tell us, what is it? You kept us all apprehensive. What is going on? Listen to me, guys. I am not happy. I'm not happy one bit. It's my father. He's been giving me so much stress all this time. I don't know what to do about him. Now he's giving me the ultimatum of just two months to give him someone I'm supposed to settle down with or else. I'll be losing his nest of cane and also his trust. I have to submit a man. But, 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 but why would he do that? Yeah. I saw the pills. Oh my word! Come on! You messed up! How could you make such a terrible mistake? So what are you going to do now? Why are you girls sounding like this? It's not, it's not like I kept the pills on purpose for him to see it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he went to my room searching and then found out about it. <sighs> girls, you need to do something, please. You need to help me out. Listen, I need to regain my father's trust. I need a man. I need to submit someone before it's late. Like a camouflage. Where do I get a man from, please? Just say something. <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem. You told us your boyfriend gave you a portrait, right? There's no boyfriend. I lied. Oh, you lied. Hey. Just a lie. Are you girls helping me out or not? 
Okay. Okay, so just calm down. I'm calm. Take a chill pill, right? I think I will sort something out. particular strange girl scattered in your house and all you could say it is nothing why can't you draw your wife since you want to be an artist mama i don't know what you're talking about yeah. and i do not like all these insinuations that the people of falling down my house is insinuation you say yeah. i want to scoop this water while it is still at the end before it gets to the moon if you really want to draw draw your wife Zikora, please talk to your mother. This unquenchable fire she's igniting is coming from burning down this home. Please talk to her, please. He is not around. In fact, he has not yet come to the shop. Uh, um, please, can you take us to his house? We need to see him. Please, it's urgent. Yes, please. Very. Whatever it is, just tell me. I can handle it. No, we need to see him and we can't say it to you. Huh? Hey. Hey. the house the other time. See, I cannot do it. I have a woman in my life already. So I cannot marry another. Listen to me, mister. Nobody is asking you to leave whichever person you're in love with or you're married to, to marry someone else. All I'm asking you to do is to pretend to be my husband. Or better still, my fiancé. To marry you or to pretend to be married to you, they are the same. <laughs> Listen to me. I am royalty. I do not have time for this. Now, 
I am making you a very good offer. Do you know why? Because I know you need the money. I need the money. Everyone needs money on earth. So if I were you, take the money, take the offer, and then pretend to be my fiancé in the presence of my father, His Royal Highness, King Augustus the Sixth. Listen, Andy. The king, he is a very rich man. Very rich man. If I were you, I would advise you to just take this offer because you will benefit from it a whole lot. Okay? I, I, I will think about it and I'll give you an answer tomorrow. You don't need to think about it. You need the money. Period. We're done with this love. Please. Do you have anything inside because I am famished? What do you want to think about? Eh? Tell me, what is there to think about? See, Collins, I have a wife whom I love so much. Hmm? I cannot disappoint her. Okay, what lovey-dovey rubbish are you talking about? Eh? So what if you love your wife? Look, you would have said yes on this spot. <laughs> what is wrong with you, sir? Friend, it's my life that we're talking about here. Mind your you. life? Your life? Do, do, do you have life? Awesome. My friend, you don't have life. Oh. Ah, being a dry cleaner is no life. Look at you. A graduate of over six years with no job. All the proposals you submitted for grants were turned down. And here you are, turning down a mouth-watering offer of 10 million naira. Is that the working man? Hey! Obologu! Yeah! Call him Sobosagi. Is he your 10 million naira? Eh? I have a wife, I cannot disappoint my Zikora. Look, Zikora needs a good life. It's only foolish women that think their men were circumcised just for their use. You need to show her that you love her. And now that the opportunity has presented itself, you should grab it with both hands. See, see, see I, I, I'm, I'm beginning to understand something here. I can see you're so much interested in this deal. Huh? Okay, do you know what? I am going to connect you to her. What about that? Uh, it's not bad. It's fine. I mean, it is good. But, but, but we must not lose this thing. Collins, he do, sir. He can lie, baby. Say anything you like. Think about it now. Can we ever make that amount in five years of diligent work as dry cleaner? Oh, can yeah. we? <laughs> we can never make that. No. If you go to 150, I can wear a good child or something. I'm, I'm so hungry here, man. It's again, just listen to yourself. If you got the 150, can you tell him? You turn down a millionaire opportunity to ask me for 150 now. Nah. Okay, Majorum, I don't have. Don't be stingy now. Nah. Give me. I don't nah. have. I think 150 is, 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 is more money in this, in this economy. Listen to me, Camellia. I have had it up to here with your nonsense in this house. I will not have you become rude to my guest, not anymore. Your guest? Did I hear you say your guest in my house? Please take a look at this place. Does this place look like a palace to you? Huh? I don't just like that guy. He's not our class. Camellia! You better talk to her. Talk to Camellia. I don't understand it. Why are you being so rude to Alva? Why? I don't like that guy. It's not safe for oh, you. Please shut your trap. Let that be my worry, not yours. Don't ever be rude to my guest again. Stay the hell away from them. I want to own you again. Okay. Yes. Okay, fine. I am sorry the way I spoke to you the other day. But please, 
I don't want you to accept Princess Abba's offer. Don't. Why? Because I am deeply in love with you. I want you for myself alone. I was not going to accept that. Like I said, I am married. It doesn't matter. If your wife had known what a handsome man you are, she would be treating you right. Without her leaving you like this, you're looking so tattered, so unkept. Oh, My baby. wife is doing her best. Please, permit me to show you that I can do better. And I promise not to come in between your marriage. I'm sorry, my dear. That's going to be difficult. Very difficult. What do you mean by he's not your spec? Sweetheart, this is not a matter of love. This is strictly business. And in business, no strings should be attached. She don't get it to him. I don't like him. That guy can never catch my father's attention. He doesn't even look presentable at all. That's why I want Andy. But he blankly refused your offer. The young man emphasized his love for his wife. Don't you get that? I don't care. Listen to me. I am not just royalty, I am a woman. Why don't you leave him for me? Just wish your girl luck and that's it. Besides, tell your guests to leave. I don't like them there. My guests? I have never been embarrassed like this all my life. Who is she, by the way? Eh? Who does she think she is? Oh, see. She is the princess of this great kingdom that you and I are living in. To get a green I don't care. Look, nothing gives her the right to humiliate me the way she did. Mm -hmm. And it's not like she's even my type. I was even considering her. <laughs> uh huh. You know how girls rush me? She has the right. Yes. Because. She got the 10 million to give to you, which you don't have. Hmm? 10 million naira up front. Out of 30 million naira marriage contract. Andy, 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 reason this thing hmm. now, check him. Andy, we are hustlers. Eh? We cannot let this opportunity pass us by. Hmm. Yes, now, think about it. Think about what we can do with this money. It can change our life completely. Hmm. Think about it now. 30 million naira is a huge sum. You know what? 30 million what? Hmm. Obim. Huh? You're here. Yes, I'm here. Zikara, welcome. Thank you, Collins. 30 million naira for what? Uh, um, it's Collins. He played uh, all this Niger bet and he's going to win 30 million naira. If he's predicted. Uh, shut up, let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> if his predicted team scores. Hey. Yes. Eat your what? Mind you, Chelsea. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> hey. hmm. You must not lose, oh. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you must not lose. Okay, we need that money. Good life is good for all. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, you didn't come with your keke? No, the keke is at the mechanic. I just came to bring you food because I know you have not eaten since morning. How? Hi. My malo be there. Oh, mom. Oguli sawam. Okay, I'll be on my way. Mm. Uh. So hey, hey, come on, let me go to the mechanic. If I leave there, they will not do anything. I can do all I can say. So let me go back there. Eh? Collins, mm -hmm. make sure you win that money. No problem. Give for Nakeka and Abumi. So you buy me. Oh, I mean, you know, Bago, it's not really enter. 2.5. Don't worry. 30 million naira. Okay. You must win. Okay. My love. Uh, well, see uh, you later. Edgy, edgy, edgy. Oh. One, your man. You see? See the amount, I mean the height of love that you want me to cheat on. 
I pay for, I pay for the love. Can you And the Ofu, ma, ofu, bula, ma, 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 you are punishing your wife for nothing. Uh, okay. Look, if I were you, I would take this opportunity, make money, and give her a good life. No, no, no. Odin. Nga wee go now. Nga 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 chain box. Nga wa go dream box into now. Eat the food. Eat the food. Eat the food. But consider the thirty million naira. Of the truth, I have emotions running deeply for the princess, but I am married and my wife loves me so much. What am I going to do? I really need this money for a better life. Now I am left with the option of choosing between money and love. What am I going to do? Hmm? What are you doing here? I am not feeling sleepy. I am... I'm disturbed. My love, not to worry. Money will come, okay? You won't understand. I understand. Now let's go to bed. Could it be that my husband is cheating on me with another woman? Oh, baby. But, 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 my love, I'm, I am coming. I, I want to get water. Um, water. I am so disappointed in you. Look at you. You are nothing but a cheap slut. I am so disappointed in you. Why would you have to throw yourself cheaply at a man? Are you not not have respect for your Stop friend? Writing. Stop writing! Stop writing! Stop making noise and tell me what you're talking about! Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh yes. You don't. I thought you said Andy is classless. I cannot do anything with Andy. He's a commoner. Now you tell me, you cheap whore. Why are you throwing yourself cheaply at him? What the hell do you want from him? I still don't get it. You don't get it. What are you talking about? Listen to me, Camilla. I did not come here to battle boys with you. Hmm. No, I can't. The next time I will see you close to Andy, you will not like me. Stay the hell away from my business. I am warning you. You need to wait. Chill. Can you have to leave my mind? Don't put his name there for me. Useless boys, two useless no, boys. No, we are not useless. Collins and Andy, why have you decided not to pay your rent? See, see, uh, 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 okay, Lord. The thing is that, please, just give us some time, like a few months to pay off. Months? I should give you a few months. Okay, okay, okay. You are mad, truthfully. Truthfully, you are mad. Turn the fire out your mouth. I should give you a few months to pay small rent. You are mad. I am not here to trade words with you. I am here to lock up this shop and I will only open it when you pay me my rent. He hasn't got into if that you, landlord. If, if, yeah. if you touch me, I will slap your face. On a small rent you cannot pay if you are not useless. He is serious. He is serious. Please. Hey! When you pay, when you pay, I will open the door. Please, if you cannot pay, go and beg. If you touch me, I will slap your face. Get back from here. Yeah, 
Did you see that? Eh? Did you see that? What? The landlord came here to humiliate us just because of 60,000 naira. Eh? How is it my fault? How is it your fault? Yeah, it's have... your fault because I brought my own half. Where is your own half? I told you I used it to repair my wife's keke. Did I tell you? To repair your wife's keke? Andy, we had a million worth of deal, but you refused to accept it just because of some sanctimonious principle. Hey! Enough! Let's go! It's not enough, oh. Still, we're going to tell you. Hunger will finish you this time around. You will suffer. You will go back to penury. You will not even know what is poverty. See? You will. Where are you? At least I've seen something. Come, come on. Come on. See? Come on. Let's have Give it to me. Is it possible that my husband is seeing another woman? How would he cheat on me after all I have done to make him happy? Why would he cheat on me? I wish I'm not making a mistake And I wish I'm not taking the wrong path But everything I do, I do for you Just to give you a comfortable life But at the midst of the game, I got confused But as my way gets sense, I realize Say now you be my lover And nobody can take your place in my heart Hey Tell you, I say I love you. Please, thank you. Uh, excuse me, please. I, I want to ask you something. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. I'm listening. How will you know if your husband is cheating on you? Does your husband cheat on you? I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, my friend. Don't, never mind. Teach me because I wouldn't know the 
I mean, the type of man I'm going to get married to tomorrow. That's wonderful. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. In fact, your father, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, mommy. Can I continue now? Go ahead, Jack. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> Mother, as you can see, I am very busy and I need to concentrate on this. I know, my love. I won't take much of your time, please. <sighs> you may sit. Thank you. What is it? I am sorry for the way we have been so hard on you lately. We just we are doing that for your own good. We want the best for you. Mother, on the contrary, I should be the one saying thank you. Thank you for making me come back to my senses. Thank you for making me realize that I was almost destroyed. Thank you. Really? Yes, really. My love, I'm so proud of the new you. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. You're welcome, mother. You know, I think I know what I should do. I need to stay away from my old friends. I know where my life is headed. I need to get a new set of friends, responsible ones. Ones that my parents will see and be proud of me. That's wonderful. My love, I love you so much. The, the king said you should present a man before him. Have you seen any yet? Mother, you don't expect me to pick a man from the moon and present to the king. I need to get a responsible man. One whose dream aligns with mine. That way we will be able to chase it together. That's perfect. Brilliant. I'm so happy. In fact, let, just go ahead, do what you want to do. Uh, uh, let me leave you so that you can concentrate on your proposal. Thank you. I love you so much. I love you too, Mother. You are the best. Thank you. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. For how long am I supposed to be playing this good girl? How long? <sighs> For Christ's sake, this good girl life is so boring.
I know you must be very, very hungry. Uh, huh? What do you got to that? Huh? Uh, Just take it there while I cook something uh, delicious for us. Oh! My name is Chibota. Let me put it for you. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. Hey, so hungry. Very, very, very hungry. Very soft bread. What could I have done without you? Thank you, my love. Thank you so much. Obi. Mm. Mm. Obi. Mm? Are you cheating on me? Are you seeing another? I thought you placed yourself on Roya Indoor. <clears throat> I actually think it's that easy. It's, I mean, you don't want to know. I'm trying to be a good girl, trying to be an obedient girl, you know, everything to make him happy. Trust me, some virtues are very boring. Oh, oh, she devil. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so sincerely, why were you taking our calls? Uh -huh. Okay, at that point, guys, I am sorry, trust me. First of all, I had a lot of fake things to do. I had to fake the cooking. I had to fake the boyfriend calls. I had to fake the obedient girl. I had to do everything. Man, it's so easy. How do people that leave their fake life? How, how do they do it, man? This is work. But all the same, the main important thing is that I was able to convince him that I'm a changed person. Trust hmm. me. So, for how long do you intend doing that? <laughs> My dear, Camelia. Mm -hmm. I can do it till the world comes to an end. That man has to make me the managing director of that company. Girl, do you know what we're talking about? 500 million naira. We need it. Oh, mm. that's a whole lot. Now you see. So how are you going to do that? Have you been able to meet the fiancé condition for such absolution? You know, that's why I'm actually here. To give you guys the new update. Update? Yes. So, what is the new update? Well, the new update is that I'm introducing my fiancé to my parents. Your fiancé? Hello. My deputy, Suto. Well, um, thank you for having a rethink. So, can we go to the main part of the deal? All ears. First of all, I will be giving you 10 million naira before introducing you to my parents. And then, you get your balance after they might have made you the director of one of his companies. And what is the what net of the company? That is none of your business. You should concentrate on this deal. That's what matters. So, everything we agree on or conclude on must be signed and documented. I do not want anyone to feel cheated at all. I do not need the contract. <laughs> I'm only trying to help you. Oh, please, my dear. Everyone needs money, even a dog. Everyone. Meanwhile, I guess it's the end of our discussion. Anyway, call me when you're already with the contract. Okay? Drink a band. Here's some meat for you. Andy, how could you do that? How could you? 
What's your problem? I mean, what's wrong with that? Did I not tell you that I met Andy Frost? That he is my man! I met him first before you! You know, I think you need to be rushed to a psychiatric hospital before you actually lose it. You've got not. No, wait. Why are you skipping the past that you were embarrassing the sky? You humiliated him just because you think you're richer than him. You also said you have nothing to do with Papa. I mean, with a commoner. What is your problem here? I want him back. You must be dreaming. Hey. You are sick in the head. Please. Girls, please. Can you guys just take it down? I don't get it. You want us to stay here and start fighting over a man? Of course not. And this but a game. We can't be here killing ourselves over a man. It's not worth it. Please. You know what? You are nothing but a pathetic fool. Now you tell me, Camilla. What exactly is your problem? You took Andy from me. That is my problem. <laughs> you know what? I need to test run him first before I can go on any contract with him. Well, you lie. That will be in your wildest dreams. It is very obvious to me that you have lost your sense of timing. But I tell you, you will never have Andy. Period. Trust me, stupid. I will spoil this deal for you. Trust me when I say so. Rubbish. Hey, sweetheart. Can you just take a chill pill? Look at the way you are breathing. Over a man. Hey, listen. A workman does not quarrel with his tool. Andy is a tool. We are the workmen. Get that into your thick skull, darling. Please, sit down. Good. I am so, so sorry, my dear. Um, but I believe Mr. Andy is your husband. Yes, he's my beloved husband. Anything, no, we're going to be. Okay. I don't think if you have any idea that your husband, your beloved husband, like you said, is having an affair with Princess Alba. <laughs> Well, a piece of advice. Try and protect what you have. For he is your possession. You cannot allow him to be taken away. Oh, stop! Hold it right there. Yes, you're a noisemaker. Why, 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 why are you making noise? Huh? Keep your advice to yourself, Auntie. I don't need it. Yes! Don't tell me that you're big for nothing. As big as you are with your fine car, big car. You just sit around and monitor people's husbands. Oh, Joker. Andy is my beloved husband. I love him so much. And he loves me too much. He cannot cheat on me. Even if he cheats on me. One day, I could call out by those people. I'm going to put them Simple. I am his home base. You got to go? So take this your carton and get out of this place. Get out! <laughs> 